Welcome to the Senior Awards Ceremony for the Class of 2021. My name is Brandi Hawksworth and I will be the ASB President for the 2021-2022 to school year. And I'm Kimberly Duarcaba, your next year Senior Class Co-President and will be your host for this special event. Now please welcome Anaheim High School Principal and Alumnus, Mr. Saldivar. Good evening staff, families, and students. My name is Mr. Saldivar, I am your school principal, and it is with great honor that I congratulate all of our seniors that are being recognized this evening for our Seniors Awards Night. We are super proud of all of your accomplishments, hard work, commitment, and dedication to getting the job done, making sure that you persevere through all of the different challenges that you have faced. We are very proud of you all. To the class of 2021, this has been quite an extraordinary year and it takes an extraordinary person to get through these kinds of moments in life. You guys are so much more prepared for what life will bring and given the circumstances and to see all of the perseverance, all of your accomplishments, all that you've done makes, us, makes this moment that much more special. We are proud of each and every one of you. Enjoy the night, enjoy the evening, and we look forward to your graduation and best of luck moving forward. Thank you. We are proud to announce some of the many scholarships that were received by this year's seniors. We'll begin with the Spirit Award presented by our own Anaheim High School Alumni Association. The Anaheim High School Alumni Association Spirit Award is a scholarship that is awarded annually to senior students who display well-rounded backgrounds in academics extracurricular activities, and pride in being a colonist. Since the Anaheim High School Alumni Association was incorporated in 2009, it has awarded thousands of dollars in scholarships to outstanding graduating seniors. Our favorite saying is, once a colonist, always a colonist. This year, 18 students were selected to receive scholarships amounting to $14,000. Along with the Spirit Award, the AHSAA Award Scholarship in memory of colonist alumna John Harp Dominey and Tilly Miranda Burke. A scholarship is also awarded in memory of Anaheim High School Principal Dr. Paul DeMarie. The AHS Alumni Association works to keep colonists connected and to support today's colonists. The AHSAA Mission Statement is to serve as an association of active alumni who help through donations, endowments, and as volunteers to save and preserve AHS history and provide assistance to the Anaheim High School student body by providing scholarships, supporting school programs, and campus improvement projects, and by advancing colonist spirit, pride, and tradition. The recipients of this year's Spirit Award are Natalie Lisbeth Cardenas, Perla Jeanette Cisneros, Itzel Guadalupe Corona, Omar De La Cruz, Jacqueline Escamilla, Alfredo Gomez, Clayton Hawksworth, Samuel Magana, and Ivan Martin. Jasmine Martinez, Robert Matthew Nava, Vanessa Navarro Huaman, Patricia Almeida, Avelia Paulino, Jose Antonio Rocha Valdiva, Ariana Elizabeth Suarez, Gwyneth Torian, and Jocelyn Torres. Hi, I'm Wally Courtney, and I'm a high school class of 1972. This is my wife, Helen and we'd like to tell you about the Courtney Family Scholarship. The Courtney Family Scholarship was designed for an Anaheim High School senior who has been accepted into a four-year university and who goes above and beyond to support their community. We believe that when you find ways to support your community, you contribute to the virtuous cycle of giving that helps individuals and the entire community grow stronger. The 2021 winner of the Courtney Family Scholarship is Diana Cortez. We chose Diana because she used the obstacles she faced as an inspiration to not only achieve academic success, but selflessly reach out and help others in the community with her involvement in the Boys and Girls Club of Anaheim and Nella Impact. 
Diana will receive a $2,000 per year scholarship for each year of her four years of undergraduate education. We were so amazed at all of the outstanding applicants for the Courtney Family Scholarship that we also chose Jasmine Martinez as the runner-up. Jasmine will receive a one-time $1,000 scholarship payable to the university that she chooses to attend. We would like to thank all of the Anaheim High School students who applied for our scholarship, and we congratulate all of the graduating seniors, and especially the Anaheim High School faculty and staff. Congratulations to all. The AOHSD Foundation Scholarship provides a scholarship of $400. This year's award goes to Jose Antonio Valdivia. Hello everyone. PTSA would like to present our senior scholarship winners for 2021 school year. And the winners are... Hola, ¿qué tal? PTSA presenta a los ganadores de la beca Senior 2021. Y los ganadores son... Y Abigail Cruz, Clayton Hawksworth, Rocío Reynoso, and Samuel Magana. Congratulations, everyone. Yay! The Ebel Scholarship is for students who are continuing their arts education beyond high school. Congratulations to Natalie Salamanca, Jacqueline Escamilla and Alejandra Hernandez for receiving this $1,000 scholarship. The following scholarship is presented on the behalf of the Anaheim Personnel Guidance Association, which represents all counselors of the Anaheim Union High School District. This $200 scholarship goes to a successful high school student who is committed to attending college or university next year. We are proud to give this scholarship to such a hardworking and determined young lady. She has gone above and beyond, has advocated for herself, and has been successful all four years of high school. Congratulations, Natalie Salamanca, this year's recipient of the APGA scholarship. Los Niños de la Calle con Wendy Foundation was established as a memorial to Wendy Trujillo, a dynamic educator and humanitarian who passed away in 2005. The foundation has provided support to children and families in Orange County and in Mexico continuously ever since. This year's scholarship recipients are Aaliyah Sanchez, Diana Cortez, Itzel Corona, and Perla Cisneros. Each year, four students are honored as Athletes of the Year and Student Athletes of the Year. This year's honorees for Athletes of the Year are Adam Luna and Victoria Buchos. The Senior Student Athletes of the Year are Jessica Villa and Jean Rico. The Steve A. Mora MD Future Physicians Scholarship Fund is a new scholarship this year given by AHS alumnus Dr. Steve Mora to an Anaheim senior planning on becoming a physician. The inaugural recipient for this award is Alejandra Hernandez. We now have a special guest, our own Congressman for the 46th District, Representative Lou Correa, who would like to announce a colonist who has been accepted to a service academy. To Anaheim High School, class of 2021, Congratulations on graduating. Congratulations on moving ahead to a great future. I want to take a time and say from one colonist to another, once a colonist, always a colonist. We're one family. If you do what I did, you'll probably graduate, find a job or go to school, stay local and raise a family here locally. And like me, a lot of you are gonna to wanna to stay here with your family, and that's awesome. Congratulations to you. I wanna take a moment right now to especially recognize one of the graduates, one of your fellow classmates, Mr. John Galveston. John, congratulations on being accepted, nominated by me and accepted to the Air Force Academy. You'll be a cadet starting in the next few weeks on your way to becoming a pilot, a fighter pilot, 
and being an officer in the Air Force. And I gotta say, John, I'm a little jealous because a long time ago when I graduated from high school, I was also nominated by my congressman to be an Air Force cadet in the academy. But unlike you, I didn't get in. My grades were a little bit weak, but you know what? That's the way it goes. And I cheer you, my friend. I cheer you on because although I'm envious of you, I'm supportive of you because you are going to do really well in the academy. Also, let me take a moment to send a message, to send a challenge to my Anaheim High School family. I'm looking for good men and women to join the military through our academies. Ladies, you are kicking hard. You are winning. I've got more ladies that I'm nominating right now to the academies than I have men. And that's good because you are smart, you're tough, and you're ready for the job. And young men, I need you to step up and do the same. So today, I just want to take a moment and say congratulations. Felicidades a todos. Espero verlos crecer y prosperar aquí in Orange County. We're all one family and we'll continue to help each other. Congratulations and class of 2021, please don't drink and drive. Muchas gracias. Congratulations to all of our scholarship recipients. Many of our seniors have spent the last four years completing specific requirements to receive special honors at graduation. The seal of biliteracy is offered to students who show proficiency in English and another language. Royal Languages Department Chair, Ms. Lee, has a message for the seal recipients. Muchas felicidades, jóvenes del doceavo grado. Acaban de terminar el ciclo escolar en la preparatoria. Les deseo mucha suerte y los quiero felicitar una vez más porque están terminando con el sello de bilingüismo. Ustedes saben que este sello significa que ustedes manejan más de un idioma muy bien académicamente, profesionalmente. Sí, lo saben hablar, lo saben escribir, leer, escuchar, sí, y por eso se los reconoce con ese emblema dorado que va a ir en en su diploma, que les va a abrir muchísimas puertas en el futuro, ¿sí? Así que sigan utilizando todo el español, el francés, el idioma que manejan, ¿sí? Y espero que se les abran muchísimas puertas en el porvenir, ¿sí? Mucha suerte, jóvenes, y felicitaciones una vez más. students have received honor awards from the National Honor Society. This award is for NHS members who have maintained their grades, completed community service hours, and actively participated in NHS events. The California Scholarship Federation grants a lifetime membership to those members whose grades qualify for four semesters in grades 10 through 12. Here are the CSF seal bearers. The next group of students that we would like to honor are those who qualify for academic honors. Academic honors require students to earn a 3.5 total grade point average between grades 9 through 12 in 16 A through G courses. 
A3G courses are those that are required for entry to university immediately after high school. This year, we had a total of 135 students who qualified for this great honor. Congratulations to our academic honors recipients who will now be listed in alphabetical order. Thank you, Ms. Ambrose. This year, Anaheim High School is presenting a Resilience Award to two students who have persevered in their learning despite enormous challenges outside of class. Our two awards go to Kaylee Rodriguez and Michael Ambrose. Hello, seniors. My name is Mrs. Cuellar. Hopefully you all know me by now, but I am your lead counselor. I just wanted to just say a huge congratulations to the class of 2021 for all of your accomplishments this year. Um, I know it's been a rough year, but you did it. Good job. Um, and so just wanted to start off uh, my piece of this evening um, by just congratulating you and uh, making sure that you knew how proud I am and uh, we all are that you made it and Tonight we are recognizing um, the top students of the class of 21 um, with awards and uh, things of that nature. So my piece of this evening is recognizing our students in our career pathways. So one of the things that I do as lead counselor is I oversee all of our ROP classes and our career technical education pathways, otherwise known as CTE. So we actually have a very robust offering of CTE pathways here at the colony. We have 13 pathways. And um, at the end of the pathway, you earn a certificate of completion. And if you earn Caesar better in that pathway, you can earn the pathway sash to wear at graduation. And then this is the final year that you can earn the uh, career distinction cord. Um, and so congratulations to all of you seniors who have earned a pathway sash or the career distinction cord, great job. Um, but within the pathways, uh, most of our pathways are two course pathways. Some of them are three course pathways. Um, and many of our uh, classes do articulate to uh, Fullerton College, Cypress College, or any of our other community colleges here in Orange County, which then also articulate to the four-year universities. Um, so just great opportunities to start your career pathway here at the Colony and then be able to earn your certificate of completion and be able to um, use all that you learned with a future career um, or at least transferable skills, right? If you don't actually end up going into one of your pathway um, curriculum. All right, so let's get started with our recipients. We do have recipients um, receiving acknowledgement in each of our pathways. So our first one is arts and media. Our second pathway is building trades. That would be our BIDA program. Our third department is child development and that is our preschool program. Our next pathway is computer science. Our next pathway is culinary arts. Our next pathway is engineering. Our next pathway is entrepreneurship. 
Our next pathway is graphic design. Our next pathway is healthcare. And that uh, there's two pathways within that um, pathway. We have our dental pathway with medical careers and dental core. And then we also have our medical pathway through ROP. Our next pathway is public safety. And our final pathway being recognized this evening is transportation. Uh, and that is also um, an academy here at the colony, the Anaheim Transportation Academy. Again, just wanted to say congratulations to all of our CTE pathway um, awardees this evening. Great job, keep up the good work. Please stay in touch with the counselors. Uh, and we're just so proud of all of, that you have accomplished this year. In addition to school-wide honors, many students have been recognized by individual departments. We'll begin with the Career Technical Education or CTE department. The award for outstanding participation in exploring computer science goes to Jonathan Vasquez. Jonathan is always eager to share his opinions on whatever subject we discuss in class, especially computer science. Because of his forward thinking, I am sure this will lead him to a career in technology or computer science. The top student in exploring computer science is Oscar Aranda. Although he is quiet, Oscar's passion shows through his projects in Python. I am certain he has a successful future in programming awaiting for him. The award for outstanding participation in AP Computer Science Principles goes to Gwyneth Torian. Gwyneth takes on a leadership role in class, always participating and leading group projects as well as discussions. She makes coding easy and fun for others, and her positive attitude and optimistic outlook will brighten many people's paths. The next CTE award goes to Nicholas Fenstermaker for being an outstanding student in AP Computer Science Principles. Nicholas is enthusiastic about computer science and is always willing to lend a hand to debug others' apps. His willingness to collaborate with others certainly will lead him to the forefront of his passions in computer science. The student and career in technical education who is a top student in the best example of the five C's in business and marketing is Maritza Espinosa. Maritza consistently demonstrated the five C's in class. She engages in virtual chat discussions and turns in excellent projects. The CTE department has chosen two students as its top business and marketing students. Jimena Castellon and Carrie Pinto Gomez have persistently shown creativity and excellence in all course projects. The top business entrepreneurship student is Evelyn Toro. Evelyn has consistently provided outstanding innovation projects and she has demonstrated top skills throughout the course. The award for graphic communications goes to Fabian Gutierrez. Also winning for graphic communication is Avion Collins. CTE has given its award for digital animation to Nicholas Fenstermaker. Jesus Guzman has earned the award for advanced graphic communications. CTE's top production student is Jesus Guzman. Jesus is an awesome student who does everything asked of him. He is the top video production student this year. There are three students who have been named top broadcast media student, and those are Miguel Adame Rosales, Alex Godinez, and Janitza Marine, whose work you have all seen on the morning video announcements. They all contributed to content posted on YouTube, and the announcements would not have been the same without them. Hello class of 2021. I am Mrs. Leah Cohn, math teacher here at Anaheim High School, and it is my distinct pleasure to give this next award to a student that has demonstrated perseverance and outstanding achievement in statistics. Congratulations to Diego Vargas. Woo! Congratulations class of 2021 on all of your success. I'd like to present an award to Jacqueline Escamilla for the effort and pride that she places in all her work. She has set the bar for all future Anaheim High School AP staff students. 
The next student I would like to present an award to is Oswaldo Mascada. I'd like to present an award to Oswaldo uh, Mascada for always being present during distance learning. You have brought joy to our classroom and made teaching enjoyable this year. Thank you and good luck. It's my honor to present the AP Calculus Award to Alfredo Gomez for his commitment and perseverance. He has made great progress this year by seeing his mistakes as a learning experience. Thank you. My student of the year is going to be Giselle Ortega. Giselle is a student in my fourth period application of functions two class. Giselle has managed to do very well in my class. She's been showing up to class every day. She participates in class. She's done all of her homework um, and she's doing great. And she's doing all this while even holding out a part-time job. Uh, she got accepted into UC Riverside. I'm hoping she runs track or cross country because I know she enjoys that and misses it. Uh, Giselle, you're an awesome person and a great student. And I know you're gonna do great things in this world. Congratulations. Hey, Catherine, it's Mr. V. Just want to say congrats on the uh, Stats Award. You deserve it. You've been one of my top students all year, participating, doing well on everything. I wish you the best in college. Take care. Stay in touch. Adios. We have two additional math awards to announce. Anaya Nizrem is a student who every teacher on this campus wants to have in class. His consistency and desire to learn puts him at the top of the list. Also receiving a Math Top Student Award is Carlos Torres. Carlos has been a consistent student all year and has kept up his academics by finishing at the top of his classroom and deserves such an award. Hello, my name is Michelle Majewski and I am here on behalf of the 11 teachers of the Social Science Department to present two awards for outstanding achievement in the social sciences to Clayton Hawksworth and Omar De La Cruz. When considering students to honor for this award, we considered many factors. We looked at a student's academic performance in the 10th through 12th grade social science classes. We also gave extra consideration to students who had taken more than just the required courses and availed themselves of the online and seat-based social science AP honors and elective classes. Clayton and Omar each earned a 4.75 in their social science classes through their four-year career at Anaheim High School. Clayton took AP European History his sophomore year, AP United States History, and psychology as a junior, and is currently enrolled in both AP government and AP psychology. Omar took AP human geography as a freshman, AP world history as a sophomore, AP United States history as a junior, and is currently enrolled in AP United States government and psychology as a senior. But more than just the academic credentials, we also looked for students that exemplified the characteristics of a social scientist. These include the ability to draw together, analyze, and critically evaluate information, interpret, use, and evaluate data, put together reasoned arguments, communicate concisely, clearly, and accurately with others, and understand the processes of change in society and its institutions. Both Clayton and Omar graduate demonstrating mastery of those skills. In addition, teachers agreed both Omar and Clayton were strong leaders in their classroom who exhibited great character and integrity while demonstrating compassion and empathy for others. Omar and Clayton, we are proud of you and your accomplishments. We are grateful to have had the pleasure and the privilege to have had both of you in our classes. And we wish both of you, as well as the entire graduating class of 2021, 
congratulations, and best wishes on a very bright future. Congratulations to the social science honorees. The ROP program has chosen to honor Child Development Pathway student Kaylee Rodriguez for being the best example of the five C's. ROP Dental has chosen two seniors as its top student. The first is Safara Castillo. Safara is an outstanding person and will do great things in her life. The next student is for ROP Dental and it is Omali Para. It was a true pleasure having Omali in class and she will do great things. Hello everyone, uh, this is a great pleasure today to nominate uh, Tiffany Olivaria Cheng for her highest GPA in my French class and for her diligent work towards mastery of the French language. And I also would like to nominate uh, Oswaldo Maqueda for, for his high GPA in French and for his continuous interest in learning this beautiful language. Merci beaucoup, uh, Tiffany et uh, Oswaldo. A bon chance. For world language, our top student is a perfect example of biliteracy. This young woman is a wonderful writer, reader, and an amazing analytical thinker. And she's able to do an amazing job in both English and Spanish. This year, she led our newspaper as the Spanish editor in chief. We want to congratulate. Carolina Herrera. Our student who exemplifies the five C's is the hardest working person that I know, Gilberto Salas. He is a student who never backs down from a challenge. His communication skills are amazing. This year that we had him in Anaheim Exclusivo, I received nothing but praise regarding the interviews he conducted he was also our youngest DLA president, and he was able to lead um, our, our DLA club um, in the largest posada that we have ever had. Close to uh, 400 people attended, and all of that was done under his leadership. We want to go ahead and congratulate Gilberto Salas. And GRTC has selected as its top student, John Galvazon. John has been nominated by Congressman Correa to attend the U.S. Air Force Academy, which he will do starting in June of this year. This is a significant accomplishment for John as it reflects his outstanding performance academically, physically, and as a leader amongst his peers. Good evening. My name is Doug Wager, the English Language Arts Department Chair here at Anaheim. It is my pleasure to present some of the awards for English. The first award goes to Saint Yacen Luna in the field of AP Literature. Earning and maintaining the highest grade in an AP Literature program of over 100 students is no easy task. But Sen is no ordinary student. He is a talented writer and a gifted thinker, but he is also a leader among his peers. With his keen insights and stellar work ethic, he inspires others to push themselves to be better. Sen is a remarkable young man, a brilliant AP literature student, and an absolute joy to teach. We now have several other English Four awards to present. First is Eve Villegas. Eve is a focused, dedicated student. While her grades are important to her, she is even more focused on improving her skills in language arts. She participates actively in class and always looks for the extra help she needs to achieve at her best. She takes constructive criticism gracefully and is a delight to teach. Nicholas Fenstermacher is our next English Four Award recipient. Nicholas is an outstanding student who is passionate about learning. He is hardworking, always participates in class, and contributes ideas. Nicholas is a kind student. He helps his peers, his teacher, and is always ready to collaborate with others. I am proud of all that he has accomplished this year. 
Lorena Murillo Lopez also receives this award. Lorena has shown exemplary dedication and hard work towards her growth in English. Her writing is well crafted and in depth regardless of the assignment. Lorena participates fully in class while paying attention to the material. Her grade not only reflects her hard work, but she has remained respectful and attentive to her classmates and teachers as well. Lorena is a shining example of a wonderful student. The award for top senior in ELD3 goes to Fernando Mora Collazo. Fernando has maintained an A in both periods 2 and 5 all year. It is especially impressive that he has accomplished high grades learning a new language over distance learning. Congratulations, Fernando. Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to present Anayo Nazarum with the 5C Award for Character. Throughout his four years at Anaheim, Anayo never missed an opportunity to smile and brighten someone's day. We wish you the best of luck, Anayo, in your future, and we're all so proud of you. Thank you. It is my pleasure to present Ashton Kamvangsa with the Award for Outstanding Attendance. All throughout his virtual senior year, Ashton rarely missed class and was typically the first person to sign in every day. Ashton, we wish you the best of luck in your future and we're also proud of you. It is my pleasure to present Duncan Shoke here with the 5C Award for Communication. Duncan, we are also proud of you the way you communicated with staff all throughout this virtual school year. Your skills exemplify the spirit of the 5C communication. We wish you the best in your future. Thank you. It is my pleasure to present Adrian Islas with this award of excellence in the demonstration of the five C's. Adrian, I am so proud of you. The world is a better place because you are in it. Estoy muy orgullosa de ti. El mundo es un lugar mejor porque estás en él. I'm Don Battles from the English department. This award goes to Gino Placentia for demonstrating the five C's throughout the school year. Well done, Gino, and congratulations. Luis Aguilar is a thoughtful and reflective English student. He's a fantastic writer. Um, he is open to feedback. He seeks feedback and works to improve his writing. Um, and he was always engaged in uh, discussions, like deep thinking discussions about the reading in our class. And um, I feel lucky that I had him as a freshman and that I got to see him again as a student, as a senior, um, because he is really, it was just a joy to have in class. Ashley Carrera is a fantastic English student because she has a passion for reading. Um, she is a critical reader. Uh, her insights about novels that she was reading on her own were um, so interested and engaging and she would write about them in her reflections and um, it was so exciting just to know what uh, she was reading on her own time. Um, her writing crackles off the page. It is so exciting. Like I remember her turning in a poem at the beginning of the year and I was blown away. I was floored. And the thoughtfulness and engagement in her writing persisted throughout um, throughout the school year. And she was just such a pleasure to have in class. She's a fantastic English uh, student. I could, she's like the heart of an English major. Thank you to the English department and congratulations to all those award winners. One award for outstanding achievement in life science goes to Luis Aguilar. Luis always comes to class with positive attitude. He regularly participates in class discussions and takes on leadership roles when working with others. If someone needs help, he is always willing to jump in. Luis has a sincere interest in learning and often joins office hours to ask questions and just chat science. Lastly, Luis consistently has one of the highest grades in AP Biology. Also receiving the Outstanding Achievement in Life Science is Leslie Vanagas. She has received one of the highest overall grades in the anatomy classes and has been more consistent in her class participation and asynchronous work throughout the entire year than most of the other students. The Science Awards continue with awards for outstanding achievement in physical science. The first of these awards go to Alejandra Hernandez. Alejandra is passionate about the environment, has a great writing ability, and studies hard to know the material. 
Her quality of work is always above and beyond what is asked for, and she's able to make great connections between disciplines. Clayton Hawksworth also wins the award for physical science. He is positive, friendly, and helpful. He has always been focused and on task in class. Clayton does all of his assignments and turns them in on time. He is a model student. We wrap up science with the Anaheim High School Science Senior of the Year, Santiago and Luna. Sen is an outstanding student of science taking both AP Physics and APES his senior year. He has a well-rounded mind that grasps both physical and life science. He has a rare ability to connect physics to the environment in a way that not many seniors are able to do until college. He is thorough, curious, and will make a great con contribution to society. Sen contracted COVID-19 earlier this year. Fortunately, he has recovered. Obviously, Sen fell behind in his schoolwork, but amazingly, he stayed positive and remained dedicated to his learning. He caught up completely, doing every missing assignment. Hello, my name is Mr. Garcia, and on behalf of the Visual and Performing Arts Department, I would like to congratulate the entire class of 2021. In particular, those students that chose to dedicate themselves to the performing arts programs by dedicating themselves to a program that required practicing and performing and a dedication to our school and for the pride of Anaheim High School. I would also like to congratulate those students in the visual arts departments that chose to use the visual arts as a creative outlet. I would like to congratulate the following students for our top student awards. Our drum major, Robert Nava. Jose Rocha, Osvaldo Maqueda, Gabriel Gonzalez, Juan Rocha, Jonathan Vasquez, Jason Escobar, Idali Corona, Brian Alvarez, Vanessa Navarro, Patricia Olmedo, and Alexis Cortez. Congratulations to you students for being dedicated to the band and color guard program. Next, we will have Ms. Fandico, Mr. Gonzalez, and Ms. Lemus also present their awards. Hi, this is Mrs. Spandico. It is my honor and privilege to present awards for drawing and painting in the following categories. For artistic talent, Tiffany Olivaria Cheng, Karen Gonzalez, Andre Mojica, Xochitl Regino, Mia Munoz, Thomas Tran, Yadira Ceballos, Stephanie Bedoy, Catherine Payes Tiul, Olivia Cira Vacio, and Eve Villegas. In the category of kindness and demonstration of the five C's, Kaylee Rodriguez, Jaylene Alvarez, Jacqueline Reynoso Hernandez, and Arlene Garibay. And in the category for top student, Fabian Gutierrez, Abraham Ortiz Lezama, Dayanara Gil, Emerson Palencia, and Odales Martinez. Congratulations. I'm Mr. G, the dance teacher here at Anaheim High. There are a few dancers that I would like to recognize. For Most Passionate Dancer Award, Valerie Mendez, Michael Ambriz, Liz Real. For Inspiring Through Dance Award, Evelyn Cervantes, Katie Adon, Dulce Martinez. For Keeping Dance Alive, Ariana Suarez, Alejandra Rodriguez, Jasmine Martinez. For Dancer Hall of Fame, Jackie Escamilla and Delaney Fernandez. And to all of my senior dancers, congratulations. Hello, my name is Mrs. Lemus and I am the teacher for 3D Design. I want to award these students with the Top Student Award because they have done an exceptional job um, this year. These students are Michael Powderly, Daisy Rayo, Obadiah Salguero, Alfonso Tafoya, Natalie Salamanca, and Andrew Aquino. Again, these students have done an exceptional job and I know that they will continue to do an amazing job in future endeavors. Good job, guys.
to my theater and APAC students, you are remarkably talented, creative, caring, and compassionate human beings. Thank you for your legacy. I want to honor the following seniors of 2021 for theater. Most improved, Aiden Felice. Exceptional role model of the five C's, Christopher Mendoza. Excellence in theater, Leilani Valeriano. Above and beyond, Roxanne Bracamonte. Most dedicated, Yesenia Alonzo. Outstanding achievement in technical theater, Crystal Cortez. The Bravo Award for Outstanding Performance goes to Victor Vega. Star of the Year, my peer tutor. I couldn't do the year without you. Thank you, Matthew Garrett. For my APAC students, I'd like to honor the following seniors. APAC Most Improved, Yesenia Alonzo. APAC Dedicated, Matthew Garrett. APAC Outstanding Student, Christopher Mendoza. Exceptional Role Model of the Five C's, Roxanne Bracamontes. And our APAC Bravo Award for Outstanding Contributions, Leadership and Performance, goes to Jasmine Sanchez. Congratulations to you all, and I look forward to seeing you follow your dreams. Anaheim's Independent Learning Center has given out four awards this year. Most determined is Melia Dominguez. Melia is an outstanding student who has been very determined to graduate. She and her family faced many obstacles this year, but she did not let that get in her way of her goals. Melia's determination will take her wherever she wants to go in life, and we're all so proud of what she has accomplished. The Kindness Award this year goes to Anna Contreras, and both Nicholas Tavira and Leslie Pineda have earned the Most Improved Award in ILC. Leslie is a very kind and intelligent student during the past year, Leslie worked very hard in order to complete all of her graduation requirements. Leslie tried her best with every assignment that needed to be done and has always turned it in before the due dates. Congratulations to all those who were honored tonight and all of our graduating seniors. We're proud of you all. Thank you for joining us for this ceremony and we will see you at graduation. <laughs> Thank you.